It's Thursday, time to ask Ellen. So Sarah caught a cool picture in South Haven of sun rays going clear across the sky and she wants to know how rare it is. This is a really cool, cool question. So the picture that you see there is the same one that I have here. And this is something that many of us have probably spotted. These technically are called crepuscular rays. It comes from the Latin word uh, that has to do with twilight because we most typically see them when the sun is low on the horizon. Crepuscular rays are beams of light. They start from the solar point, AKA the sun, and then they spread outward and they're created by clouds creating shadows in between the shafts of light. So they're kind of these nice cloud shafts that create rays. Now technically, crepuscular rays don't have to form at sunset or sunrise. Sometimes we can see them when the sun is high in the sky and it's shining down through the cloud cover. So again, crepuscular rays, not very rare. But I wanna show you the next picture too that Sarah took because it includes not just the solar point, but something called the anti-solar point as well. A solar point emanates from the sun Anti-solar point is exactly opposite of the sun. So if we have a sunset, the solar point is at the sun. Anti-solar point is at the person's back if they're, set, if they're facing the sunset. So we have in this picture that she took, solar point, anti-solar point, and rays shooting clear across the sky. This is exceptionally rare. This picture right here that she snapped is few and far between in South Haven. And these are called sky-wide rays. They're beams of light. They span from the solar point to the anti-solar point, and they rarely ever happen. So congratulations, Sarah. You snapped a good one. If you snap a picture and want to know more about it, of course, you can always send it to us, too. Yeah, beautiful photo right there. Yeah. All right, thanks. And if you have a question that you would like to ask Ellen, send it to the7 at woodtv.com.